Hi creatives, this is Susan and welcome to my channel. I'm about to try to do a face with alcohol inks and it is a complete failure. So I am going to put it on fast forward. I've been wanting to do a face uh, using my alcohol inks for the longest time. And I thought, well, I'll give it a try today. It did not turn out the way I thought it would. Alcohol inks are not easy to use for making um, details. <laughs> and you do, do need to have some kind of control over your medium when you're doing a face and eyes and nose and stuff like that. So um, yeah, this was interesting. So follow along with me. Um, it just, it's a mess. So right now I poured on some alcohol ink, a bit of color. I'm just kind of slopping it all over the place. A little color on the eyes. I've drawn out the pen, uh, the face using a um, alcohol ink pen. Uh, I think they're like a, co they're called a Copic pen. I have a whole set of them. I usually uh, do flowers or uh, forest scenes with my alcohol inks or abstracts. I've never done a face before. Here I'm spraying some alcohol onto it and it just goes downhill from here. That's my opinion. I don't know. What do you think? I was extremely frustrated with this thing. I start putting on the alcohol and the ink and you just start losing all control. Now it's turned into a monster. Just adding more color and trying to stay within a certain color palette. I think I have a thing for blue hair, if you've seen some of my other portraits in acrylics. I love using a fan brush. You can get some great effects with alcohol inks with a fan brush. Try those eyes again. Here I'm using the brush with just uh, clean alcohol on it to shape the eyes. Put in some lines. Well, maybe if I practice a few more times I might be able to get it right. There was a couple of points I just should have stopped <laughs> because by the time I got to the end it was a mess. But you know you don't find out how it works until you keep doing it. I see I should have just stopped right there. That would have been a good spot to stop. I kept fiddling, fiddling, trying to get the uh, the eye shapes and I had one iris bigger than the other. And here I'm using another Copic pen. And uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I think if you're going to do a portrait in alcohol inks, uh, expect to just be abstract. You're not going to get the kind of crispy lines that you can with watercolor and acrylics. But she looked kind of cool here with her big blobs for cheeks. 
And I'm putting some shading on her neck. And going around trying to get those shadows under the eyes. It just did not work for me. I guess that's not bad right there, but I take it further and it turns into a uh, blah. I'm sure there's some wonderful artists on YouTube that can show you how to do this if you are so inclined. I'm just trying to get those irises to match. And then the nose bothered me. <laughs> and there's the finished product. How's that for scary, guys? All right, don't laugh. I did my best. And I promise I will not do this again. Have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching if you made it this far.